The seafood on your plate has likely seen more of the world than most people ever will. Every year, more than 5 million tons of frozen fish move across vast oceans, weaving through a labyrinth of ships, trucks, and rail networks. This is no ordinary shipment. Every fillet must stay perfectly frozen, guided by AI-powered monitoring, precision freezing, and cold chain logistics that leave no room for error. A single mishap, delayed customs, power failure, or a faulty reefer can ruin entire shipments. Yet through a seamless blend of agriculture, tech, and transport, fish stays perfectly frozen from ocean to market, ensuring freshness no matter where you are. From the moment a fish is pulled from the water, the clock starts ticking. Freshness isn't just a matter of taste, it's the difference between premium seafood and a worthless spoiled haul. Unlike grains or meat which allow some handling time, fish begins to degrade within minutes, and without rapid freezing, entire shipments can become waste before they even leave the dock. The seafood industry depends on advanced freezing methods that act as a pause button on freshness, preventing deterioration from the moment a fish is caught. Whether harvested from Arctic waters, tropical seas, or controlled aquaculture farms, fish must be locked in time through blast freezing, cryogenic freezing, or IQF, individually quick frozen technology, all designed to preserve texture, color, and nutrients. Before frozen fish travel across the world, they pass through colossal cold storage facilities, some larger than football fields, where temperatures never waver, no matter the scorching heat outside. These high-tech freezers, equipped with robotic pallet stackers and AI-driven climate control, serve as the nerve centers of seafood logistics, ensuring that every filly remains in peak condition before continuing its global voyage. Countries with major seafood exports – Norway, Iceland, Japan, China, and Chile – have built sprawling cold storage networks near ports to streamline logistics. The goal is to minimize the time between freezing and shipping, reducing energy costs while maintaining optimal quality. But the real challenge lies ahead. Shipping frozen fish across continents is a logistical chess game where one wrong move, a power outage, a port delay, or a reefer failure can mean disaster. Unlike dry goods that tolerate handling variations, seafood demands absolute precision. A mere two-degree fluctuation can trigger ice crystal formation, damaging texture and taste. This is why frozen seafood transport relies on an unbroken cold chain monitored by IoT sensors and backed by real-time logistics data. The Arctic Ocean, once an impenetrable barrier to trade, is now emerging as a key shipping route for frozen seafood. Melting ice caps have opened up shorter transit corridors between Asia and Europe, significantly reducing shipping times. Norwegian and Russian seafood exporters are already utilizing these northern passages to transport frozen fish to China faster than traditional routes through the Suez Canal. However, challenges remain. Extreme cold, unpredictable weather, and limited infrastructure in Arctic waters make these routes risky. Yet the promise of quicker delivery times continues to push the industry toward innovation with ice-strengthened reefers and advanced navigation systems improving reliability. Despite the dominance of ocean freight, rail transport is playing an increasingly vital role in frozen fish logistics. In Russia, refrigerated rail cars transport fish from the Pacific coast thousands of miles inland to markets in Moscow and St. Petersburg. China has also expanded its cold chain rail network moving frozen seafood from coastal provinces deep into the country's interior. Rail offers a more energy efficient alternative to trucking while maintaining consistent temperatures over long distances. The combination of reefer ships and rail connections allows frozen fish to reach landlocked regions without compromising quality. On land, reefer trucks handle the final leg of distribution. These refrigerated vehicles, once powered solely by diesel, are now shifting toward electric and hybrid refrigeration systems to reduce emissions and improve energy efficiency. Supermarkets, wholesalers, and restaurants rely on just-in-time delivery systems to minimize storage costs while ensuring a continuous supply of frozen seafood. Even direct-to-consumer delivery is evolving, with subscription-based seafood services shipping frozen fish straight to homes, often packaged with dry ice or gel packs to maintain temperature during transit. Every step in this intricate network must function flawlessly. A customs delay at a port, a power failure in a reefer unit, or an unexpected weather disruption can derail an entire shipment. Coordination between fishing companies, cold storage operators, shipping lines, and retailers is essential to keeping the global seafood supply chain moving smoothly. 
Despite these complexities, technological advancements continue to refine logistics, making it possible for a fish caught in Norwegian waters to be served on a dinner plate in New York, Tokyo, or Dubai without ever losing its pristine freshness. Maintaining a seamless cold chain from sea to consumer is no small feat. The complexities multiply as frozen fish move through international trade networks, navigating customs regulations, port logistics, and temperature-sensitive handling. Unlike standard freight, where minor delays may cause inconvenience, the stakes in frozen seafood transport are far higher. A power outage at a shipping terminal, a mechanical failure in a reefer unit, or even a brief delay in customs clearance can mean an entire container of fish is rendered unusable. The financial losses are staggering, but beyond that, the environmental and ethical concerns surrounding food waste make precision in logistics even more critical. The global seafood trade is heavily reliant on a few key ports that serve as redistribution hubs for frozen fish. Rotterdam, Singapore, Los Angeles, and Qingdao are among the busiest, acting as gateways where thousands of reefer containers are unloaded, inspected, and redirected. Efficiency at these ports is crucial, and automation is playing an increasing role. AI-driven logistics platforms now manage reefer container placement, prioritizing those that need immediate transfer while keeping others in temperature-controlled stacking areas. The rise of smart ports, where real-time tracking integrates with customs and warehouse systems, is helping to cut down transit times and reduce spoilage. Shipping routes are constantly optimized to ensure the fastest and most cost-effective transport of frozen seafood. The demand for shorter transit times has led to innovative solutions, including the use of ultra-fast reefer vessels designed specifically for perishable goods. These ships, smaller and faster than traditional cargo vessels, operate on express routes between major seafood-producing regions and consumer markets. Norway, a global leader in salmon exports, has been investing in high-speed reefer ships that can deliver frozen fish to European and Asian markets days faster than conventional shipping methods. This reduced travel time means less reliance on deep freezing, which in turn lowers energy consumption and improves the overall sustainability of the cold chain. For high-value seafood, air freight remains an essential component of transport logistics. While most frozen fish travel by sea, premium products like sashimi-grade tuna, king crab, and certain shellfish are often flown to their destinations to preserve their market value. The air cargo industry has adapted to the stringent requirements of frozen seafood with specialized reefer units designed for aircraft transport. These insulated containers maintain precise temperatures and airlines operating in major seafood corridors, such as between Tokyo and New York or Sydney and Hong Kong, have dedicated cold storage facilities to prevent fluctuations during transit. The cost of air transport is significantly higher than ocean freight, but for products where freshness determines pricing, the expense is justified. Traceability has become a non-negotiable standard in the seafood industry. Consumers no longer accept vague labels. They demand to know exactly where their fish was caught, how it was frozen, and who handled it along the way. AI-powered tracking systems, combined with blockchain-backed supply chains, provide a transparent, tamper-proof record of every step. With a simple scan of a QR code, a shopper in London can confirm that their salmon was sustainably caught in Norwegian waters, processed under strict temperature controls, and shipped via carbon-neutral reefers. The last stage of distribution brings frozen fish to supermarkets, restaurants, and consumers. Modern retail logistics have adapted to the unique challenges of frozen seafood, with supermarkets using sophisticated inventory management systems to reduce storage time and minimize energy costs. Some large grocery chains now use automated storage and retrieval systems in their frozen sections, where robots handle stock rotation to maintain optimal freshness. Meanwhile, restaurants are becoming more reliant on just-in-time delivery systems, receiving shipments of frozen seafood only as needed to minimize waste. The direct-to-consumer market for frozen fish is expanding, with online seafood retailers offering home delivery services that guarantee freshness upon arrival. Advances in packaging technology, such as vacuum-sealed portions, insulated shipping boxes, and sustainable cooling gels, allow frozen fish to be shipped across countries without compromising quality. Subscription-based seafood services are also growing, allowing consumers to receive frozen fish directly from fisheries, often with detailed information about sourcing and sustainability. Even with all these advancements, challenges remain. Climate change is affecting ocean temperatures and fish migration patterns, forcing the seafood industry to adapt. Rising energy costs put pressure on the sustainability of refrigerated transport, 
and geopolitical tensions can disrupt established shipping routes. However, continued innovation in agriculture, tech, and transport is ensuring that frozen fish will remain a staple in global trade, meeting the demands of a growing population while minimizing waste and maximizing efficiency. Ensuring frozen fish arrive in peak condition requires an intricate balance of logistics, technology, and environmental adaptation. As demand grows, the industry must address not only efficiency, but also sustainability. Energy-intensive refrigeration systems are necessary to maintain strict temperature control, but they come at a cost. Shipping companies are now investing in more eco-friendly refrigeration methods, incorporating liquid nitrogen cooling, solar-assisted reefers, and hybrid electric reefer trucks to reduce emissions while keeping fish frozen. The challenge lies in scaling these solutions across a global industry that still relies heavily on fossil fuels for transportation. Cold storage facilities are evolving to be more energy efficient using smart insulation materials, automation, and AI-driven climate control to optimize power consumption. Some modern cold warehouses now operate with low-emission ammonia-based refrigeration systems, which are less harmful to the environment than traditional refrigerants. The integration of renewable energy sources, such as solar panels on warehouse roofs, is further reducing the carbon footprint of frozen seafood distribution. These innovations are not just about cost-cutting. They are essential to meeting global sustainability targets as the seafood industry faces increasing scrutiny over its environmental impact. Beyond energy efficiency, the issue of food waste remains critical. Despite all the advancements in freezing and transport, spoilage still occurs due to logistical mishaps, mismanaged storage, or supply chain inefficiencies. To combat this, AI-powered predictive analytics are being used to forecast demand, preventing overstocking and unnecessary waste. Supermarkets and distributors are also implementing more dynamic pricing models, where products nearing their shelf life are automatically discounted to encourage quicker sales rather than being discarded. These technologies are reshaping how frozen seafood is managed at scale, reducing waste while maintaining profitability. Automation is playing a growing role in handling frozen fish. In large seafood processing hubs, robotic arms sort and pack frozen fillets with precision minimizing human contact to ensure hygiene and consistency. Fully automated reefer terminals are being developed in ports where AI-powered cranes handle containers without delays, ensuring that frozen cargo transitions seamlessly between transport modes. The goal is to eliminate human error, streamline processing times, and maintain a flawless cold chain from ocean to consumer. As supply chains become more complex, transparency is becoming a key focus. Blockchain is revolutionizing how seafood is tracked providing a digital ledger that verifies every step of the process. From the moment a fish is caught, data is recorded, including location, freezing time, transport conditions, and warehouse storage details. This technology ensures authenticity, prevents fraud, and allows consumers to scan a QR code on their product to trace its origin. Retailers are increasingly adopting this system to provide greater confidence in product quality and sustainability claims. Geopolitical factors are also influencing how frozen fish are transported across continents. Trade agreements, tariffs, and regional conflicts can disrupt established supply routes, forcing companies to rethink their logistics strategies. The seafood industry has seen significant shifts due to diplomatic tensions, with exporters diversifying their markets to mitigate risks. Some countries are investing in domestic cold storage networks to reduce reliance on imports, while others are strengthening trade alliances to ensure a steady flow of seafood despite global uncertainties. Despite these challenges, frozen fish transport continues to push the boundaries of innovation. New refrigeration technologies, AI-driven logistics, and sustainable energy solutions are shaping the future of seafood distribution. The next frontier may even include lab-grown seafood, a revolutionary concept that could eventually reduce the need for large-scale fishing while still meeting global demand. Though still in its early stages, cellular aquaculture presents an intriguing possibility for transforming the industry. From deep-sea fishing fleets to AI-powered reefers, frozen fish travel an astonishingly precise and high-tech route to reach consumers worldwide. The next time you enjoy a perfectly frozen fillet, consider the immense coordination, advanced technology, and global logistics that made it possible. The world's seafood supply depends on a seamless fusion of agriculture, tech, and transport, ensuring that no matter where you are, frozen fish arrives as fresh as the moment it was caught. Frozen fish transport is a marvel of precision, where agriculture, technology, and transport converge to meet global demand. 
Every fillet, shrimp, or tuna steak reaching a dinner plate has passed through a carefully controlled network of deep sea vessels, advanced freezing systems, reefer containers, and AI-powered logistics. The cold chain never sleeps, adapting to weather, geopolitical shifts, and sustainability pressures while ensuring freshness across continents. Innovation continues to redefine the industry from energy-efficient cold storage to blockchain-backed traceability and even the rise of lab-grown seafood. As challenges evolve, so do the solutions, making frozen fish transport not just an industry, but a testament to human ingenuity. The next time you enjoy a perfectly frozen fillet, consider the invisible network of ships, warehouses, and AI-driven logistics that worked in harmony to preserve its freshness. What seems effortless, pulling a package of fish from a grocery freezer, masks an astonishing feat of engineering, precision, and global coordination.